This is the Ishin Lizard. It's quite possibly the best micro drone available. I got mine though the first week that they came out and it was nearly perfect right out of the box. Recently, however, I've been getting a lot of questions about people having problems with them. So I'm gonna go over a couple things you need to check before you fly your lizard. First, the camera. You'll see I've got a big glob of hot glue here and that's because mine broke at the top point here. There's a wire that goes through the middle of this coax and then connects through to the top part of this antenna. And several people have told me or asked if that should be connected. And the answer is yes. I'm gonna link a video up here in the corner where I actually broke mine. Mine came connected and it worked fine, but then I broke it on that connection. I had to re-solder it and then I've glued it to make it strong. And it's been great ever since. And that was months ago. So that's been a really good fix for me. So first, make sure that's connected because I know the VTX for some people is overheating and that might be why. So make sure that is solidly connected to this top part of the antenna before you turn it on. Larger than that though is a lot of people are complaining that the motors are getting hot. They're saying 30 seconds in, straight out of the factory, not making any PT1 changes or making any beta flight changes and they are having problems with these right out of the factory. So they're getting hot and it's because they're shorting out. I've talked to Banggood about this and they've made a couple changes to the frame. It sounds like this bottom plate on the new ones might be just a little bit thinner. I have, still haven't heard about people breaking them, but it's something that has changed because they're using the same screws with the shorter frame. The original screws are five millimeter, which should be okay. So there's a couple things you wanna check. Okay, so I've actually broken mine so I can show you what's happening. Most of mine I have soft mounts on and I've replaced the motors and I've got a whole video on screws that I use for that. But what's happening here is I've taken the soft mount out and now I have longer screws and I have screwed it in until what's happening, let's see if I can zoom in. So there we go. So this is a seven millimeter screw through my original frame into the motor without any soft mounts. And it is now contacting the copper inside the motor. See those windings? Those are what power runs through from your ESC. So power now runs through those wires and the problem is is this screw is making contact and that's what's happening with some of the new motors from the factory you can test this with a multimeter set on continuity so i've got it here so now it just beeps now there's not a lot of continuity through this frame but it's just enough you should be able to test this so if right now because that is making contact if i just touch my frame here and I might have to dig into it just a little bit. There we go, I've got the tip in there. Now I touch the ESC wire, here it beeps. There we go, that means I've got continuity and that should not happen. If I back this screw out just a little bit, so there, I've taken the screw out just a little bit and I touch it again in the frame again, and now I touch those same pads, I get nothing, nothing at all. So that is, that's the problem. Um, and unfortunately, I thought it was just a fluke the first time somebody asked me, but it's happened way too many times. So before you fly your lizard, you need to fix this. So if you have this problem and check it before you fly it, because you will ruin your motors really fast. There are I, three things I know of that you can do. One, you can email Banggood because they are just figuring out the issue and all the consistency and I'm trying to give them information and they'll, they'll be happy to fix it for you, but they'd rather fix it for you with a new plate. So what they're doing is they have a plate, I think it's just, they haven't been able to send me a picture yet, but I think they've got a riser plate that will lift up the motor, probably a millimeter or two, and then you screw it down tight and you'll be fine. So, and that's not a problem. I With my old quadcopters, I had lots of adapter plates and whatnot on it. So it just lifts things up a little bit and that should be fine. Um, you email cssupport at banggood.com. Double check that email address. I'll, it'll actually have it on screen and I'll have it in the description. So you can email them. But that's not what I would do because really you've got better options. If you have seen my soft mounting video for these, um, I would do that. So I would just immediately say, look, these screws are fine now and I can soft mount this with these same screws and it will automatically add in the spacing for you. So there's a couple things you can do. These I've got, um, I have a link for Banggood and these would actually be perfect, but then you have to order them and wait for them. And I'll make sure I post the video on how to make these work really soon because they do work really well. You just have to lock tight your, the screws when you put them in. But I've been flying this way with these for a while and it's good. So those are fine. Or uh, with the link for the other video, I just used O-rings that I got from the hardware store and put them in. And the problem you may have is the screws that it comes with may not be long enough for those. I, 
I bet they are, but you're, you need to look really closely. Make sure when you, if you put those in, you put the screws in and you can see maybe just a little bit of a thread. Watch that video very closely and you should be able to put the screw in, have some space, put the rubber grommet in, and then maybe see a little bit of thread on here. Make sure you have more than just a couple threads though, because those screws, the five millimeter that they ship with, you may need six millimeter just to get them to fit. I think these that I added in that video are seven millimeter, but honestly, all the spacing's off for the new models. Um, you'll have to make sure you, you get the right ones. If you have a local hobby shop, you might be able to go get them there too. So that's option two, and that's the one I would probably do because this does fly a whole lot better with soft mounts. I highly recommend soft mounting. But say you just got it, you don't wanna go through that hassle. You don't wanna order new screws or wait for things to come in. You wanna fly it today. I can't verify this, but what I have heard is the screws are okay. There's only one screw in each motor that's making contact. And if you look through, you might be able to figure out which one it is. Okay, we're redoing option three because what I originally recorded wasn't gonna work. Really what you have to do if you wanna fly it now is go through and take out all the screws. If you have a short from here to the pads, take out all the screws and all the motors and then put them in one screw at a time. Put one screw in each one and make sure you don't have a short. And then if you do, take that one out and try and keep adding more because from what I've heard is you can get three screws in here without it shorting. Just one of them will, will make contact because of the way the windings work. They won't all make contact. So if you can get three screws or even two screws across from one another, in here without it shorting, that is fine. Without soft mounting, you don't have as much of a need for holding all the screws. Lots of quadcopters ship with just two screws, so don't worry about that. Now two side by side I wouldn't do, but if they're across from each other, that would be just fine. So go through and do one motor, get it locked down. Then go to the next one, do the same thing. Go all the way around until you can get all the way through here with at least two screws in each motor without making any contact. You can also just go get screws, if you have a local hobby shop, go get two millimeter, I I'm pretty sure these are two millimeter screws that are just one millimeter shorter. So go get two millimeter by four millimeter screws, put them all in and you'll be fine. If they have them available, just go get them, spend a couple dollars and replace all the screws and you won't have to worry about it. But it sounds like that isn't necessary. It sounds like just getting one screw out of each of them will end up working out for you and everybody can fly then. So I hope you found this useful. I hope you saw this before you flew it and ruined any components. If you did, go ahead and email, uh, assuming you got this from Banggood, but I hope you found this useful. I hope this saved your lizard before you flew it. If it did, leave a like down below and leave a comment down below with what solution worked for you. Were you able to remove one screw and was it a consistent screw? So maybe I can update this again and tell people more precisely because mine is an old model. It doesn't have any of these problems. I can't, I can't say for sure, but if we can figure that out, I will update the description so it's clearer for people. So check the description, check the comments and let me know what your fix was for this. While you're at it, go ahead and subscribe just so as I post new videos about the lizard and lots and lots of other things, you get updates and click the bell icon so you know right away. Until next time, remember, don't fly your lizard if it's sick. Get it healed first.